In this recording, we're going to have a look at how to create an interactive search bar similar to this. So here we can type in the word hoodie, for example. The search results then appear hoodie. I could also look at just, uh, say, the word logo, for example. And then all the products with the word logo in the title will appear in the search results. Similarly, you could look at something like shirt. And they would appear. And then, of course, if you want to navigate to the product, you can just click on the product and you'd head over to that product page. So, this uh, interactive navigation bar you can insert in your header so that it appears uh, on all the pages of your website, or in this case, just included it in the, um, <clears throat> in the product archive template. And we'll have a look to see how to set that up in a minute. So, Let's have a look at what the setup is inside WordPress for that. So what I'm going to do now is head over here to the plugins. So you can have a look and you'll see that what we have installed is the Oxygen install and then the Piotnet grid, which is then used to create that interactive menu and then also the WooCommerce and WooCommerce sidebars. So to get started then, what we're going to do is we're going to create a completely new setup. The way that it fits together is you have the search bar and then inside the search bar you have the uh, results page the results section and inside the results section you have a grid and inside those grids you've got the individual products and that layout is created using what's called a card so let's go in and have a look the first thing that we'll do then is create the search bar and then we'll see how to put all the components together to make this work So we're going to head over to the back end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the Piotnet grid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a card. And let's add new. And in this case, I'm going to call that card the search card. And let's call that the search product card. So we know that's where it's going to fit. We publish that. And then what you do is you edit with Piotnet grid. And that will then open up that interface. And here we can create the grid. So what I like to do, um, first of all, then is let's bring, bring over a section. So we're going to put everything that we do inside that section. And then what I'm going to do is add an image, which will be the image for the product. And the second thing, that we'll need to add then is some text and that'll be the product name. We drop that in. So now inside our section, you'll see that we have the two components. Right, so let's head over to the image first. So here we are on the image. You'll see when you click on the image, the left-hand bar changes and let's head over to featured image. And for a sizing perspective, then we're going to have a look here at well, 150 by 150, or let's make it even smaller, maybe the shop thumbnail, which is 100 by 100. We could also engage these other features, but in this case, we're not going to be uh, needing those. So we're just going to focus then on the shop thumbnail, and we're not going to look at the aspect ratio. And here we can fill in the link. So one thing that you could do is you could apply the link here, which is what I like to do. So we click on custom URL. Then we go to the dynamic tag and we say it'll be the post URL, the link target itself, and we're not going to have a caption. And if we want to, we can activate lazy load. Now, as you can see, that's way too big for the screen. Now, we know the image is 100 by 100, so let's uh, make that 100. And you'll see that when we click out of there, that the image then resizes. Uh, to the size that we want um, that's on desktop and we can also uh, just add the let's just add pixels so it knows that it's 100 pixels and then what we're going to do is we're going to get over to the text the text element that we included and when we click on the text element it'll ask us what content and in this case we'll scroll down to woocommerce and we'll say product title now that's a little bit big uh, even if it is the H2 heading. Uh, once again, we have the link URL setting. So we'll say the post URL and the link target itself. And in this case, the alignment to the left is fine. Now we can head over to advanced and 
let's change the width and the height. Now we know that we made the image 100 pixels. So what we can do here though is change that up a bit and let's work on percentages rather. And the reason we want to do that is just to make sure that we always get a nice fit between the two. So let's head back to the image. And what we're going to do then is just change that to 15 percent so there we have the image there we have the title now we head over to the title again and what i'm going to do is just change some of the typography so in the typography that we have here we're going to change the weight to normal and then what we're also going to do is change the font size so let's have a look here at the font size and let's change that to say in this case let's make it 16 pixels or even 18 so there we have the title and then we also want some padding around the edge and here we can quite easily just include say 10 pixels so there we have a bit of space and easy to read so once that's done we're going to hit save so that is now done so we have what's called a card which is what each item will look like now that card we need to put inside a grid and the grid will then contain all the cards of the products in the search result so let's add new and we're going to call that the uh, product and let's call that the search grid there we have we publish and then what we're going to do is set that up so quite easy to set up we say edit with the piotnet grid and once that loads you'll see we drag our grid across and now what you'll see is we have a couple of things that we have here for example there's the query so the post product custom post type search product card so you'll see it's already pulled in the search product card if i say select no card is selected i pull in the card this would contain a list of all the cards i created the card i created was the search product card and here it is with some text but you'll see at the moment that it's pulling in posts and not products head down here to post type and i'm going to change that to products so this could be custom post types as well and now you see it pulls in a list of products but we're actually looking for a two column view and not a one column view so we need to get that changed as well so we go to layout and inside layout we simply change that to a two and now we have two cards next to each other we could have made it three or four or five whatever we want in our listing so with that done now we'll save that so we have our grid and we have the results of our search but we still don't have the complete search option set up so let's head back now and let's create that facet which is called a search let's add new and what i'm going to do is just call this the search facet we'll publish that and then what i'm going to do as soon as that's published we'll edit that with uh, the Piotnet grid and it's a very simple uh, section that we're going to look at here and all I'm going to do is add a new facet and that facet you'll see here we have a couple of options that pop up some things that are important is the facet name we're going to need that to set up the uh, layout so that we have the correct um, content popping up uh, based on the search in this particular facet so this name which has to be unique i normally just use the default name that's assigned so we'll copy that but you can also give it your own unique name i'm just going to copy that for now and then we're going to look at the filter so it is a filter and the filter type is not select but it's going to be search so we've changed this now to a search bar and we can now insert the default text and we can just say something like search here 
And you'll see now that that will appear in the search bar. And we also now need to start doing some setup. So we want to disable add the parameter to URL because we're just going to use the pop up. So let's hit save. So with that save now, we can head back to WordPress. And now what we need to do is actually set up the template for the search. So let's add a new template and let's call that the let's call that the search template and publish that and now we're going to pull all the elements together and you'll see why I copied the name of that search bar so we say edit with piotnet grid so here we're creating a template which is pulling everything together so the first thing I'm going to do is insert a facet and that facet you'll see here is the search facet and we need to apply for grid now we don't have the grid installed on the page yet but we know that it's going to be the product search grid so we apply that and we can say save but we haven't included that grid so let's head back to the elements let's add a section and you'll see that the section we didn't look at it before but the section has other features so yes we have the layout which is standard but then we can also set it as the search results section so let's do that i'm going to enable that and we're not going to give the search facet a name so this is where we insert the grid now with the search results then i go over to grid i can drag the grid across and you'll see that the product search grid is already in place now i'm going to go back to my section because at the moment it just lists all the products and this search facet name here is going to be the name that we named this search bar so i head back here and i'm now going to put in the name and you'll see now that that is what creates the functionality is the link between this search and you'll see already that the even though i'm just in the setup area i can now test and see that it's working so there i have it working and bringing up the search results and when there are no results you'll see that in this case it shows all the products but what will happen is on the front end there won't be any products in there now Right, so we save that. Head over to WordPress. And now, uh, in order to insert, I'm going to head over to Oxygen. And I'm going to include that in my template. So if you have a normal theme, you can use the short code that is provided here. In Oxygen, it's a little bit different. So head over to Templates. I'll open that in a new tab. And then I'm going to go to, or to make it even easier, I'm just going to come here and go to edit product archive and I'm going to edit that with oxygen and then I'm going to insert that content element into the page. So oxygen is going to load. So here we have oxygen loading. Right, so oxygen loaded. You can see the previous search bar, so I'm going to delete that. So let's delete that. And now I'll head over to add, and you go to the Piotnet grid in Oxygen, and let's look for template. And in this case, we're going to call it, right, there were two. We're going to go for the second one, which is the one that we created. And then I'm going to move that to the top of the page. Right, so. There we have the template with the search here phrase, and we'll save that. And then I'm going to go back to the uh, front end of the website, and let's go back to the shop, and then we'll just have a look at the result. So we head over to the shop, and once we're in the shop, you'll see that the search bar will show. And here, of course, I can type in beanie, and you'll see now that beanie with logo appears, and I can type in hoodie and the hoodie will appear but you'll see that 
although we've created it, uh, we need to just do some final wrapping up to remove the background and just to make this uh, clearer. So what we'll do, the first thing that we'll do is we'll head over to Oxygen and I'm just going to make this a little bit clearer uh, to, or easier to see because at the moment it fills the whole width of the page. And to do that, I'm just going to really quickly add a section under basics. We'll go to a section and then move that to the top. And then I'm just going to drop this template inside that section. And you'll see now that that's going to appear in the middle of the page. And then what I'm going to do is just make sure that that is 100% wide. So I'll just add that as a precaution there. So there we go. So now we have that peering nicely in the middle of our page. And if we were to have a look, uh, let's just refresh. And you'll see that that now appears nicely in the middle of the page. And if I go uh, beanie, so you'll see that it's still not looking good, but at least it's in the middle of the page and that is quite readable. Let's head back and just, uh, let's just remove some of the spacing. Right, so there we have it. We'll save and now we're going to update the formatting. We'll head back to the, uh, let's head back to the template. So there's the search template and now we're going to update the search template and we'll go to edit with PRNet Grid. And the first thing that we're going to do now is just change the formatting of the results section. That's all we really need to do. So we select that result section. You'll see it here on the left-hand side. It's going to be boxed and we'll head over to advanced. And what we'll do then is start looking at uh, setting up a border. So uh, if not a border, maybe we just want to go with the box shadow instead. So let's do that. And we'll say, let's give it a vertical of three and a blur of five and a spread of five and let's change the color so it's not so bright and maybe do something like that and then of course in the border we might want to give that a border radius of five so there we have our results now and just to quickly show you that now when we have a look at our shop I'm going to refresh that and I'll type in some keywords. And now you'll see that our results come up in a nicely formatted um, area, but it's still, you can see right through it. So to sort that out, we head over to the, uh, from the background. And in the background, we'll just go with a solid color. In this case, we could just make it white. But of course you can do a whole lot of different um, colors or color ideas. In the background. So with that done, we'll save. And now you'll see that when we get our results. And here, let's go with um, hoodie. I think there are a few more. You'll see that we have our results with a solid white background, but we're underneath the images from the shop. And to do that, we will then head over to the um, position. And we'll change the Z index there to 10. We'll save, head back to our shop. And now you'll see that our results appear on top of the other content. So there you have it. Um, and it will work for any of the product categories. So beanie, we can go with logo. And you'll see the items appear. And if we click on one of those items, we attach the link. We'll go straight through to that particular product. Right, so that's how easy it is to set up a interactive search bar in WooCommerce or for any post type or custom post type using Piotnet Grid um, as your filter. And uh, yeah, I hope you find it just as easy to set up and hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. No.